<laughs> okay, you want to go? Let's go for car. Daddy. Well, we're outside of what used to be one of our favorite stops, Opa, and now it's Tostana, Indian cuisine. So, what are we gonna do now, babe? Go to other places. Go to the other Opa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tess, you want to go get some chicken? Yeah. 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 Want to go to the other Opa? Yeah, Opa. Okay, we'll go to the other one then. Are you upset, babe? Mm, no, it's okay. Mm, I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> this is, what is Dostana, huh? Maybe it's delicious, but it's not Opa. Okay, let's go. Get there it is. Opa of Greece. When I left the YouTube series, Life of a Trucker, I started a new career in oil and gas. And my main ambition was to earn enough money to go to film school. But what happened was, I got caught up in oil and gas, and I didn't go to film school. I found myself in a creative rut. Well, for seven years. And I didn't do anything. There's a common saying that life got in the way, but for me it was that life began. When I was trucking, I was a 20-something year old kid that didn't have life figured out. I met the girl of my dreams, I got married, we bought a house, and we had a little girl. So I've got the ultimate responsibility as a father, and it's the best thing in the world. I wouldn't trade it for anything. These are my favorite moments now, and this is usually my focus when I'm filming nowadays, is my daughter, and my family, and life at home. So if I were to title this anything, it would be The Home Life of a Trucker. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'd never name it that.